everybody, it's your girl Chelsea T, and today I'm going to get straight to the point for y'all. I'm going to talk about social justice. Now, oftentimes, we see iconic figures speak on social justice more so in the NBA than in the NFL for reasons that I can't even fathom. But after a rally on Saturday in Sacramento in support of Stephon Clark, who was brutally murdered by the police, a reporter made it his sole mission to ask Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr why he wasn't in attendance. Take a look here. You don't think there's a contradiction there when you talk a lot about race or an issue like that, but then there's a march or somebody gets killed and you don't actually show up? You're serious? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, it's, it's up to each individual. Um, you know, if he is going to uh, pick his spots, uh, to make his contribution to society. Um, I'm very confident and comfortable in my own skin and in our players' lives, uh, what they do for our communities, the way they speak out, the way I've spoken out. I feel very, very confident in uh, what we've tried to do. And I'm also very, very serious about my job. This should be on one of ESPN's come on, man moments. I mean, obviously, Steve Kerr had a job to do this weekend. I mean, Coaching the defending NBA champions is not a nine to five and he doesn't get weekends off. He probably doesn't get any days off. But to make it seem like Steve Kerr is a contradictory figure when it comes to social justice, it's quite the blasphemous approach, all right? Now let's rewind. Let's take it back to the infamous NFL anthem protest back when Colin Kaepernick was doing his thing for our people, all right? Steve Kerr, he vocalized his opinion many times in support of Colin Kaepernick. Check this out. I think Colin, when he met with Nate Boyer, decided to kneel instead of sit, acknowledged his respect for the military, and really clarified his message that this is about unarmed black people being killed indiscriminately around the country, and it just happened two days ago. That's the message. That's what matters. He also spoke in an interview with former Obama administration advisor, Dan Pfeiffer. Oh, he is being blackballed. That's a no-brainer. All you have to do is read the transactions every day when you see the quarterbacks who are being hired. He's way better than any of them. But the NFL has a different fan base than the NBA. The NBA is more urban and the NFL is more conservative. And I think a lot of NFL fans are truly angry at Kaepernick. And I think owners are worried what it's going to do to business. What it's going to do to business. Steve Kerr said it plain and simple. He also spoke on gun control laws, a matter that is near and dear to his heart, considering the fact that he lost his own father to gun violence. But look, I have a message to that reporter who asked that stupid question on Saturday. Before you try to attack somebody, how about you do your research, okay? Steve Kerr is one of the few NBA coaches who actually uses his platform to try to make a difference in this country. And that's more than I can say about some other iconic figures in this sports world. But hey, enough of me right in a day. That's it for today. Join me next time as I continue to dig into those real sports stories that matter. And remember that your day is never complete without a dose of tea with Chelsea T.